Right, it's so a quick video about a way that you can make your cage traps more target specific, especially if you only want to trap certain animals. And I mean cage traps like this. Right. Now what made me rethink of this again was I was watching a video by Jim M and he was talking about a cage trap pretty much exactly the same as this. He was using it for pest control to catch rats. But he was saying about the size of the entrance meant that he was catching things like hedgehogs, birds and stuff like that. And I think his, the entrance of his is probably about the same as this one. So you can see it there, you know, fairly big. You can get your whole arm in, I'll probably get both my hands together in there. And like I said, yeah, he was catching um, all sorts of other animals, which he didn't want to catch. You know, it might be different in a survival situation, but not in an um, pest control situation. You want to catch what you're meant to be catching. Try to pin the door open. So yeah, so you see that massive great entrance. Hedgehogs, everything can get in there. So I'll show you a way that I've done before to change that entrance and make it still work like normal, so you can catch specific things rather than you know anything will fit through there. So what I've got. Is this piece of mesh? I'll move this trap. You can see it. Piece of mesh, and it's got a small hole cut in it. And simply, all you do, now you can do this with a piece of wood, um, piece of metal, piece of mesh, anything like that. Piece of plastic. Cut it to the same size as this. Cut your entrance to how big whatever animal you want to go in there. So, yeah, you want it for a rat, you do it for a rat. And then just cable tie or wire that on there. doing that you've made the entrance much smaller but as it's not interfered in any way with the mechanism or the actual door of the trap it will still close and catch just like normal but only a rat sized animal will be able to get in there um, it's probably not much point in making it smaller unless you specifically wanted to catch something even smaller But then if you try to catch a mouse that's a walk straight through the sides of these bars So hopefully you can see that But now you've got a small little hole With a big cage and the door should still work just like normal Yeah, and it still works like normal Closes just like it should but the entrance is smaller so if you only want to get rats that'll get rats that should stop the hedgehogs or whatever getting in there um, another couple of ways of doing it I'll just show you that hold on so another really simple way of adjusting the door um, if it's on soft ground it has to be on soft ground though it is when you set it up stick to temp pegs in front of the doorway like that and then that way that restricts it again or you could bring them in bring them out uh, I wouldn't put them inside because that may interfere with the door um, we just put them on the outside hammer them right down until until it's literally pinning the trap to the floor like that two of them that's another way of restricting the doorway as well. So you can change the size to whatever animal you want. You know, something bigger, leave them open. Only want a rat or something. 
do it like that. Like I said, you put wood there, put all sorts of things there, you know, wood, plastic, anything, make that hole smaller. Then you can target certain animals over others. But well, anyway, cheers for watching. Oh, stay safe in this, you know, weird times we're living in. And I'll see you later.